YouTube. So this is my first video on this channel. My name is Clarissa and I'm the owner and founder of Claire Photography and I am a portrait photographer based out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Today I'm going to be giving you guys five tips on how to photograph young children in a small space. Now when I say small children, I'm thinking children from the age range of two to six, okay? Tip number one, I cannot stress this one enough. Energy is everything, okay? You have to make this fun for these kids. Their attention span is super short. You're gonna wanna make everything a game, okay? Even sitting down, make silly noises when they sit down. When you sit down, be like, Whoa! you know, you just have to be super fun. You have to use different tones of voices and just be super excited. Um, that will help your shoot so much with kids and keep them engaged. Do your best not to hide behind your camera because when you do that, then you just become a camera and you're not a person and that's not fun, okay? Do whatever you have to do to make them laugh. If you see that the kid you're shooting likes, likes it when you get hurt, act like you're getting hurt, okay? And you're gonna get those natural laughs and do your best not to tell, like, you know, you can pose them, you can tell them, you know, cross your legs, and then you get silly, and then you, you know, you have fun with it. But overall, you don't want to just tell them to sit and smile because that gets boring really fast. How about everybody stand up? Okay, ready, Nori? Stand next to Kai Kai. Give her a big hug. Oh my goodness. Kai Kai, turn your face towards me. Beautiful. Can you Make sure you try to give them fun things to do. Sometimes, sometimes you can't just tell kids what to do, you kind of have to show them. You gotta get down on their level and you gotta show them, and when you do it, you gotta be silly and fun with it. One, two, three, and one more. One, two, oh, let's start over. Make a mad face, make a mad face. Mm. You're so naughty, now make a sad face. Oh, now make a happy face. Wow, great job. All right, tip number two is be quick, okay? You don't have much time. These kids have very short attention spans. Now, what should we do? Do you have an idea? Uh, okay. Uh, you guys, I have an idea. Okay, Kai Kai, sit right here. Sit down, face this way. Yep, Laura, sit that way. Perfect. Now let's turn around, face each other. Boom. All right, hold your gifts, just like that. Ready? Just like that. Get real close. Come here, little lady. All right, you ready? Tip number three is get on their level. So a lot of times when you see like parents or people who are not professional photographers take photos of their kids, they're like taking pictures from them standing six foot tall and their kids like two feet tall. And so you see their kid looking up at the camera. It's so much better if you get down on the kid's level because then you get to see the world from their perspective okay which makes the photos so much more interesting also get weird angles um it's not always you know above them or on their level do something get below them make them look big oh my goodness you don't know what's in here can you make a guess what do you think make a guess uh, what that's so close so close oh my god try one more guess What'd you say, cookies? Did you say cookies? They're cookies. That ain't no cookies, car keys? Oh, car keys. That's a very good guess, baby. So close. Tip number four is bribe them, okay? Bribe them. I know this sounds bad. I know. I know how this sounds. But you have to do it, okay? And I'm saying, you don't have to always bribe them with food or candy, which sometimes we do. When we get desperate, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? But bribe them with opportunity. If you know that that child, um, you have something that that child wants, you know, you tell them, hey, do this for me and then I'll give you what you want. What's wrong, baby? You wanna go in? What's wrong? Huh? Do you guys wanna do something else? Yeah. 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 You want what? A sweet? A treat. Oh, okay. You can have a treat after you decorate the tree. Do you want to decorate the tree? I didn't say It's going to be so me, fun. Me, me. But first, you got to do what Kai Kai's doing. Go, go. Come here, Kai Kai. Let Nori get in. 
All right, I need you to lay down, and then I need you to tell me. I'm gonna ask you some questions, okay? Perfect, great job. Ready? All right. Oh, the thing came with it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there we go. I need this, I need you to scoot back, just a smidge. All right, right there, right there, little lady, right there, little lady. Stop. That's perfect, right there. All right, ready? When you get desperate, you gotta rob them with candy or food, okay? So you tell them, if you do a good job at this shoot, afterwards I'm gonna give you a lollipop, okay? And your kid will be, the kid's gonna steady think about the lollipop, okay? They might talk about it the whole shoot. So that's why I try to wait and use that as a last resort. Kind of when I've lost them, then I bring them back with something like that, okay? And I'm gonna get you a treat if you do really good on this, okay? Do you want a treat? Yeah. Okay, ready? Now I'm gonna ask you some questions, okay? What do you want for Christmas, Mama? Mm, um, candy. You want candy? For like Christmas. Oh. I want my snack. And a snack? And for like Christmas. <laughs> Tip number five is know what kind of kid you're working with. Is the kid extroverted or are they shy? If you have a shy kid, I say take your time, okay? Don't try to be too pushy and touch them in the beginning or like, Try to make them do things that they're not comfortable with. Um, just be super fun, compliment them, let them know they look really great and that they're doing a great job and be super fun and eventually they'll warm up more and you'll be able to tell when they warm up more and when you can you know, do more things like pick them up and move them that way or tickle them and things of that nature, all right? If the kid is extroverted, as soon as you meet them, compliment them and hype them up, okay? Just be like, oh my God, girl, you are so cute. And just be so dramatic about everything. They love that. They love that. And if the kid is extroverted, that's not going to do anything but hype them up and get them more ready, okay? It's not going to make them feel uncomfortable. It's going to make them feel more comfortable and like they're having like the best time of their life. If I'm walking my client up or walking them to the location, which sometimes I do, I always ask them, do they want to hold my hand? That's a great way for them to get warmed up to you. And also, you can tell that like, you know, you're building a bond with that child and... I know me personally, that's something I specialize in, in, is building bonds throughout the shoot. Even with the parents that say it's so hard to get my kid to take photos, I have yet to run into an issue. Okay, and if Santa comes tomorrow, is he going to say that you are naughty or nice? What is he going to say? Is Santa going to say you've been a good girl or a bad girl? So those are my five tips for today. If you guys have questions, please drop them below in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Or if you have content ideas for me, also drop that down in the comments. If you like this content, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.